And man, do we appreciate the weather out there. We're <laughs> in that sweet spot where, you know, yeah. right before fall, right at the end of summer, it's so nice You ever outside. used to, like, in school, you could go outside on certain days, have class outside. And have I would like to have this yeah. outside. I know. <laughs> we could do the news outside. <laughs> hey, a lot of people are out there. They're at high school football games, things like that, and it's a perfect night for it. You can see on the cameras across the home view here, mostly clear skies, area wide from Lexington and Paris. Same story down in Somerset and London. No problems across the area. Now, that's all going to change as as we head into the weekend, shower chances are going to be on the increase. But first temperatures right now, it's 77 degrees in Lexington. Same story, Frankfurt and Richmond. 78 out in McKee, 76 in Jackson, 79 in Harlan, and 78 down in Monticello. So fairly mild. If you have any evening plans or heading out the door, no problems. It's fairly comfortable. A nice crisp fall evening for sure. Now temperatures over the next several hours are going to begin to fall, especially as the sun sets. They'll fall fairly quickly. If you're headed out to any high school, football games by the fourth quarter or so could get a little chilly with temperatures in the 60s and you won't have the heat from the sun so maybe take a light jacket and then late tonight you can see and early tomorrow morning we dip into the uh, mid 50s so it will be a chilly start tomorrow but not too bad not uh, as bad or I should say fairly similar to what it was this morning out there so chilly start but we warm up fairly quickly tomorrow once again satellite and radar you can see here on a clean sweep not much to talk about as far as precipitation goes maybe a few passing clouds down in our southern counties but other than that it is dry it is clear skies for us and that's going to be the story tonight night as well. Now, if we take a wider look, you can see most of the eastern half of the country here is dealing with the mostly sunny conditions other than a few scattered showers to the deep south there. But what we're keeping our eye on is this cold front that's working its way in our direction and it's going to have shower chances increase as we head into tomorrow and Sunday. Tonight, though, mostly clear and cool, 54 degrees for an overnight low. Not too bad, again, if you have any evening plans. But the next big thing we're tracking is the threat for some of that rain. You can see here as we head into the day tomorrow, notice how a lot of it on uh, your Saturday here is situated mainly in our southern and southeastern most communities. I don't think it's a complete washout, and I think anyone could see a shower or two. Everyone, I feel like, has a greater risk though as the cold front begins to pass through uh, during the day on Sunday, bringing the chance for some more of those scattered showers. And really we're just dealing with the cloudy conditions. So if you're headed out to the UK game tomorrow, an isolated shower is possible, but I think most of us are dry. It won't be too bad out there. Seven day forecast looks like this. You can see here plenty of sunshine this evening and clear skies into the overnight chance of showers over the next couple days, but next week looks fairly nice for us. No problems at all.